snapper. snapper. This is Toraline's brand new string. It's in lavender and it looks fantastic. Is that the best thing about it? Let's find out. Today we have Toraline's brand new string snapper. Yes, it is a co-poly 1.23 mil. That's a 17 gauge for me and you. Uh, excellent. Uh, it is an octagonal string, so slightly edgy. Almost round. Yes, but almost round. The big thing is it's extra slick, Josh. It's got more lube, so it's called snapper because of the snapback on the strings. Much like with Restring Zero, their big selling point was the amount that the strings snap back into place. What this does, what does it do? It means that the strings move a lot, which should generate a lot of spin and probably a lot of power too as they move and contact the ball more. Mm. But they also snap back into place so they give you a consistent string bed ready for your next cut at the ball. Wow. So as you can see, we've strung up two of our favourite rackets, the Babolat Pure Drive and the E-Zone 98 Tor, Tor yep. to be precise, um, with snapper at 50 pounds. Um, and we're gonna put it through its paces. We're gonna see if it does what it says it's supposed to do. Which is spin, spin. yeah. Snapper, snap the ball. Yeah, so plenty of spin coming, let's see we what hope. We do. So we've just come off court playing with Toraline Snapper, the beautiful lavender string designed to give us loads of spin. Snappity snap. How did you like it? Not much spin. Not much snappity smack. In my hot seat. Supposed to have spin. Didn't really generate much. Yeah, I know. And I, I've got the same. Perhaps it's the rackets that, we, that we're using. Perhaps we're not good enough. I, I completely disagree with that. But perhaps it's the rackets we're using. Not big spin monsters, but then when I play tennis, I do generate enough spin. Yeah, it's um, weird. It kind of makes sense though. Because it's almost a round string, an octagonal string, and those strings don't generate spin. Mm. You think like yeah. four-sided, edge, squarer, yeah, so wasabis, etc. Those are the... Yeah, and I think that actually it's it's quite soft. It's quite, it's quite slick. It, it feels more to me like a control string. It feels more like a 4G soft, which I really like. Yeah. But I like... And I like, actually I like 4G soft more than I like this, I have to say. So I actually thought that as well as I was playing, because I often have 4G soft in here. And I thought, oh, it feels kind of like my racket. It just felt felt normal. Yeah. And 4G soft's a very good string to be similar to. Absolutely. Whether it's better than 4G soft or not as good, I wouldn't be prepared to make that judgment currently. Just, just yet. I would like to try it a little bit more, have both side by side, but maybe that's something that we could do to see. Yeah. Um, because especially when you start taking full cuts at the ball mm -hmm. with nice long attacking swings, it did kind of dampen the pure drive, which is what the 4G soft does for me. It controls the pure drive a little bit, yeah. making it a little bit easier um, to play with. Yes. Did you find it slightly underpowered? No, because I hit the ball hard enough. Ah, fair enough. I, I, find it sl I found it slightly underpowered for what I was used to, and, and that was sort of unexpected. Nearly all of the Toraline strings, even the control ones, have had enough about them that, to, that felt that they've got getting enough power out of it. And this one felt much more controlling, much more subdued, which you might really like, but for me it was a sort of surprise and not something I was particularly into. And that's what, kind of what I dislike, is that you call it snapper, there's no snap. Yeah, didn't feel snappity snap, did it? No. No. Um, but a very nice string, um, a nice soft, consistent feeling, it felt solid, um, it felt like a high quality string, um, it did. didn't feel like a cheap poly. No, uh, and in and fairness, it's called Snapper not because of any power, the Snappy Snap, it's because of the snapback and it does, as you see, pop back very nicely. This has been played with smacking the ball about a fair amount and you've got loads of great snapback, it just goes straight back. I think the, into only, place. the only thing that we maybe could have tried to generate more spin would be to lower the tension. We already had it at 50. Yeah. But I think maybe at 47, 48, even more string movement, we, maybe the string would have come into its own a bit more and got, yeah. generated some of that snapping back spin. Josh, do you notice anything different about my racket? Where's your doombie? It's in my pocket. What? So I always, and have always, for as long as I can remember, played with a dampener on. And during this playtest, 
uh, which I often do, I took it off to see how the racket felt, whether I was gonna get more feedback and things like that. And, and it absolutely did. If I was putting this string in this racket, I would not have a dampener because with it on, it felt so subdued. Well, and maybe that's how soft it is. Perhaps, that's yeah. how soft and how nice the feeling is that you don't need that dampener to reduce the vibration and the contact. Yeah, so I would say definitely, if you're someone that uses a dampener and you try the string with your dampener in it, it's feeling a little subdued, I don't want to say dead, but subdued is a, a, is, a be, is a better way. Try it without the dampener because I think it really picks up and you start to get lots more feedback when that dampener is out there and then you, you're getting the full sensation of the strings into your hand, into your body, into your nervous system. So you can really feel. What about your soul? Yeah, into my soul too. My snappy, snappy soul. In summation, I think it's a very, very good string. However, I don't think it's the string that Toroline think it is. It's not what it says on the tin. A oh, tin of snapper, tin of tuna, could have been a thing, but no. So it says it's generating a lot of spin, that it's a spinny, spinny string that's gonna get loads out of it. And I don't feel like that. I really feel like it's a control string. It's got good feel, it's got good touch, it's got good feedback once you take the dampener out. But I'm not sure it's spinny. I agree. I think it's a lovely control string for flatter hitters for, keep, for wanting to keep the ball in control to have some feel have some feedback through your hand i think that's who it's for but i think there's probably some better strings available that do that same thing yes um so maybe toraline snapper isn't snapping its way to number one ah very nice as always, it's personal preference. If you like the string and you think we could be getting more out of it by doing something else, please leave a comment, follow us, subscribe to us, like the stuff, do the stuff, give us more loves and set up your notifications and never miss a thing from PH Dennis. Pizzazz! A snapper! I was, yeah. Okay, we've just finished playing with Toraline Snapper. Snappity snap, how do you like it? <laughs> we've just finished playing with Toraline Snapper. Uh, that beautiful. Snappity snap. Oh, you want that back I in? Want it. Okay. Well... Josh is poorly. You might have noticed he hasn't spoken as much, which is why the review is so good. <laughs> On spin or power or control or launch angle yes don't get me started on launch angle what's a load of nonsense <laughs> wow well, i don't think this is your best work <laughs> <laughs> no it's That's not so awful I, I, yeah.